I mean, to be honest, with you, not not really. I mean, we we've no. been in this bubble that we. I mean, the hometown thing was really the biggest like shock where we saw like, it was a reality how, check. It was a reality yeah. check of how many people like have been watching and stuff like that. But I mean, for me personally, I I don't feel like you know a celebrity like at all. You know, like I think that this whole experience, like we've just been working so hard. Every, I mean, we work like every day that we don't get a chance to see like really the impact that it take has. Take it in as much. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they, um, you know, last night we rehearsed, you know, for about an hour and a half, I think. But what was so cool was they, we actually just hung out, like, in a room for, like, 45 minutes. And they were just so, I mean, incredibly nice and, and hilarious. And, um, and I think they actually want to meet my brother. So, like, my, I'm going to get my, let my brother meet them, you know, tomorrow and hang out with them. And they were, I mean, they were seriously some of the nicest people I've ever met. And they were just so insightful and just gave me a lot of... Um, a lot of good uh, feedback. Gene Simmons was like, hey, man, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, but, man, you've got the goods. And I was like, wow. You know, like, that was, I mean, that's an icon, like an icon of rock and roll. And uh, it was just crazy. I mean, I'm so, so excited to get to perform with them tomorrow. It's going to be nuts. Demi is extremely hardworking. I mean, she came right into the rehearsal, said hi to everyone, and learned all of our names, which is really nice, um, and then got right down to work. So you can tell that she she wants to put on the best performance she possibly can, which I am so, you know, it's it's awesome to see since she's so, you know, professional and so successful. She still wants to put on the best performance wherever it may be. Um, and Haley, I hope I get her numbers. We can text all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to fangirl a little bit, but um, she's an awesome person. I mean, she's an awesome performer. I've loved that band since I was 12 years old, so there's going to be a lot of things that I would like to talk to her about, but so little time. No, I'm, yes, it's going to get totally awkward. I, I'm going I'm to hate you no matter what. Um, no, I mean, we're extremely happy no matter what happens. I mean, we've had a bunch of pep talks, especially leading up to tonight. I'm... So thankful that, you know, we're, even here, we're yeah. even here. So, I mean, I surpassed my goal. I wanted top five. So and just to be here is amazing. Uh, you know, I did do, what's funny is that <laughs> I did do, uh, like, around set. Not, not the Chris Farley one, but the Harry Carey. Like, we did it. We did, like, an SNL thing back in high school. Can you give him a so, for us, please? So we did, like, I would go around and be like, Hey, now, doctor, if the moon was made of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat it? Heck, I know I, I would, and then I'd polish it off with a tall, cool Budweiser. <laughs> I have a couple of friends that call me Whiskers, like you know, like we did, you know, we did stuff like that. Yeah. Not necessarily, to be honest. I mean, it's the label has definitely gotten a, a chance to see you know, what kind of artists we are, but just through the show. I mean, we haven't even shown them, like, our original music because we both write. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's it's a, an amazing starting point. I mean, this song does, the songs do fit us really well, and that's why I was so excited to perform it. But there's a lot of room to grow and evolve into the artists that, I mean, I want to be. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I just did out of what she said. <laughs> Thank you, good night! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We have some Gail, if you were a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs>